do like to come and hike in the evening. And I really like it because the sun always shines. It reminds you of skiing in the winter and all the trails that you do when you're in the mountains. And the sun always sets to the right and the mountain becomes pink. Sometimes I'll sit for two minutes, sometimes five. I don't really think about anything. It makes me feel slower. So I like to go running in the morning early. It's nice to start the day like this. And when I'm in the trail, I just, I, I make it from the house to the trail in not a lot of time. Then I can make it to the mountain in not a lot of time. And then I have so many trails options that I can choose from. So when I started 100B7, uh, the goal of the event was definitely to share the beautiful roads that I, I was training on a long time ago. I actually started riding dirt roads with my road bike like in the 90s. Um, and so that event was really something special for me. And to be able to share all those beautiful places was like a must. Um, so I was actually riding gravel before gravel was cool because here there's so many options on gravel roads. Uh, it gives you the opportunities to do bigger hills, longer hills, steeper hills. And for me, um, for the training that I was doing, that was definitely essential. I, I do agree, and I agree that we do have to take a step back sometimes. Sometimes you're so into racing uh, mind that you forget exactly why you're there. Master World Championship, national team jersey, Canadian champion jersey, the Velo News frame of my sad. You're doing well, you're winning World Cups with your team, you're traveling all the time. You do forget sometimes the pleasure that you get from just riding a bike. The, the race part of it is such a small part of the sport. So not everybody wants to race. And I think the majority of people are in that group. That's where you have to focus. So we just left home and we're heading downtown. I only live, uh, you need to put your seatbelt on. Security first. Yeah. I ride on these roads 12 months a year. Summer, fall, winter. This is the main parking lot for downtown Sutton. There you go. This is my friend Jean-Francois. He owns the coffee shop, Le Cafetier. This is my local bike shop. They have a really nice variety of different kind of things. There's only one, but it's still my favorite. Here's the owner. Awesome ice cream here. This is my bakery. I'm going in. He's my, uh, my beauty guy. <laughs> he doesn't believe what I write on Facebook. He thinks it's too much. <laughs> He's funny. Thank you, Pierre. When you're on a bike, you feel like a butterfly. You have that sense of freedom. You can go anywhere you want. You can take a trail, you can go back on the gravel, you can be on the pavement. So you have choices. And I think having choice is something that really attracts me for the bike. I wanted to bring people together at the end of the season. So everybody raced all year. I wanted to be able to have the road bikes, the cross bike, if you had a mountain bike, to come and have fun. When you have an event like this and you want to bring people together, I think it's important to have another piece of it that 
brings people together even more. So people will give money. We sell a couple things that represent bicycles and stuff like that. And the money goes directly to the butterfly. I got the idea to find someone who was having health issues. Butterfly means freedom, and it's a little bit of freedom that I want to give them. Seeing all those gravel events coming up um, makes me feel like something new just arrived. The roads are really calm. A dirt road compared to a, a paved road has this peaceful side of it. The gravel events are so much more friendly, uh, more relaxed. People can go fast if they want, but they don't have to. So I think it's definitely something that's going to stay for a long time. And um, I, I definitely think that we need to be a little bit more calm and realize the advantage that we have to be able to ride bikes.